Good morning. Good morning. Let's see. Camera adjustment. Hey, good morning, Zertabruk. Zertabruk. How's it going? Are you ready for another day of warm up? Hey, Sven Zenart. Good morning, RC Coast. How's it going? How's it going? They're saying that they've changed the look of things. Um, so I have to dig in on the and I can see that they added different icon and things. Interesting. They seem to oh well that's cool. You have a banner and everything. That's nice. Good morning, Dennis, Ilari, Michal, Opilonic, and Georg. So throw some topics at me. Let's do it. I need six topics and I will throw the dice to see which topic it is. Throw them my way, please. Let's do it. Actually, I don't have any sound on. Drunk zombie president. All terrain <laughs> octopus. What the fuck is an all terrain octopus? Giant zombie snail. Uh, good morning, Vera Sketch. Navy seal seal. <laughs> Topic is madness. Bioelectrical assassin. Well, that's interesting. Okay, good morning, Mobo. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Renaissance mech. I'm not seeing. Let's start again. Number four. And that is one, two, Three, four, Navy Seal, Seal. <coughs> All right, a Navy Seal, Seal. You know what? Let's switch things up. Let's paint with light today. A Navy Seal, Seal. I have no idea what a Seal look, looks like. Kind of. And remember, if the topic is boring, you're the one who picked it. Well, let's um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Navy Seal Seal. I need to. Uh, No. Oh. Opin. Opilonic. Opilonic. There we go. Good morning, Captain Jetlag and Mila. Oh, timer. So many things to push lately. It's just constant, like push this, push that. Hopilonic. <laughs> All right. Well, you're gonna you're gonna see one. They kind of have things, not really things, right? So let's let's try to add some. Some gear to this seal. This is a Navy SEAL seal. <laughs> Today the topics were. <laughs> I don't know what to say about the topics. They were interesting. Mm. 
Navy SEAL SEAL. That's what I'm going for here. from the future. Maybe it's a time traveling seal that will go back or forward. Oh, it'll go back in time and place mines on Hitler's um, escape submarine that he took from um, his bunker to Antarctica. Or was it South America? South America, yeah. He took a submarine to South America and escaped the war. Uh, so they have constructed a Navy SEAL SEAL, a time traveling <laughs> Navy SEAL SEAL, to go back in time to place mines on the submarine so that they can finish off Hitler for once. That's great. And because <clears throat> the seal travels in time, and time exists in a vacuum, so the seal needs like a breathing apparatus, not for underwater, but for zero uh, oxygen situations. But I have no idea what a seal looks like. It's kind of like a weird dog, that much I know. Hey, Lou Rib. Good morning. I seen a seal once. I was uh, in the Swedish uh, countryside, kind of on a vacation. It's a tradition in Sweden to go kind of camping um, in the Swedish summer. If you don't want to travel anywhere, you just kind of travel around in Sweden. And uh, I were, we were somewhere. I don't remember really where. Uh, it was just somewhere. And um, we were kind of hanging out by a lake, uh, you know, just enjoying the the countryside, kind of. And, uh, um, <laughs> Ilari, yeah, that's the scientific term, kind of like a wet dog uh, or weird dog. Um, yeah, so we were there, and I was like uh, looking out of the over the lake. And I saw a human kind of come up of the water, float around there, and then kind of go down in the water again. I was like, what? I had to double take it. I was like, what? What, what the fuck is happening? And I, 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 I was telling everyone. I didn't tell everyone, anyone. I was like, I had to double check it. And then I saw the person coming up again, but I like moved in the water. I was like, what the? And I was like, hey, 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 look. It's something. It's a human far out there you can see like you could see like the head and shoulders come up out of the water and i was like what the this can't be a human can't go like down on the water and swim far 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 and then pop up again and just kind of calmly bob up and down in the water I was like that, that that's something like, impossible so i was like what 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 is that and, and I, it dawned on me quite fast like oh it's a seal because um, uh, seals are usually, um, uh, I remember that uh, seals are, uh, they thought that mermaids were um, that, just that. You know, they, they see silhouette of a human in the water. <clears throat> but it's, uh, most of the case, it's, uh, it's a seal. <laughs> Georg, yeah, seals, they, they, they're not the um, um, most fragrant, well, uh, pleasantly fragrant animals. They, they smell like fish, more or less. Fish and seaweed. But for the life of me, I'm trying to remember their fins. I know they kind of have... 
almost like nails, right? But they don't have nails. They have like fingerlings. Hmm. Like I can see, I see them uh, jump around. <laughs> so it's, it's not bouncing, but you know how they kind of hop along. And they they kind of have fingers, I think. Hmm. I wish I could Google. But alas, I have no Google powers. Yeah, I know that they, they can clap. I know that much. And that they kind of have an arm. It's not like a straight fin. It is it, because they can kind of sit, right? Because of circus, you know, how they sit on those things. But uh, my mental image at the, the whole arm part is, is blurry. But yeah, Swedish camping is really actually quite cool. They have a, um, like specific parks for it. Not the American version, like trailer parks. But in a way, it's like a trailer park. But it's completely designed for a vacation. So you have like a activity places like mini golf and, and uh, showers and... Uh, you know, like uh, stages and all these things, and uh, football fields and beaches, and you know, it's really cool. It's a very unique thing, I'd say, uh, the the way they've set it up, uh, because Swedish summers are so hot and bright, and um, it's a, such a high contrast to the rest of the year and the rest of summers because we're so. Uh, high up in north uh, so the summer is really really bright like it never goes dark it goes like early morning uh, sunshine in the middle of the night and it doesn't really go dark so it's a really weird experience if you're in Sweden in the summer that like four or five in the morning it looks like uh, the sun is already up you know it never sets it never goes dark in the, in the summer it's a really, really weird sensation if you have never experienced it. Yeah, I mean, I haven't gone camping in a lot of places other than Sweden. So it's I don't have anything to compare to, but by the sounds of things, it's very like European camping. Then, oh yeah, seals have whiskers, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They got whiskers. We went to the zoo with our kids, and they had uh, like babies, and uh, they were calling each other. And I have this video of this hilarious fat little uh, seal trying to to uh, find his, their buddies, and their buddies is a further away, and he's screaming, and they're like, "Oh no!" You can see it's probably the the older siblings or mother and father, because this little fat little seal is like jumping to them and and screaming, and you can see the the bigger seals just they just want to sleep, you know, they don't want to. Pay, pay any attention to this fat little seal wanting attention and then eventually he comes there and and kind of jumps next to them and start poking them and they're like annoyed screaming at this little fat seal and <laughs> it was still hilarious I have it on a movie as a parent I could completely sympathize with the the older seals and this annoying little uh, 
attention grab and see it coming and like, hey, hey, let's go play in the water, let's do this, let's do that. The, the, the older one's like, oh, go away. <laughs> Hey, so hi, good morning. <laughs> that's that's great of the logic. I think yeah, yeah, they have an angle towards the end, right? And they have these little fingers, fingerlings things. Something like that. Something like that. Hmm. Oh no, Apollonic! You have to, um, you have to uh, buy something for her, like a flower, apology flower, or a box of chocolates, or greet her naked when you when she comes home. Yeah, you should greet her naked. Like, hello, just in the sofa. What's up? <laughs> so, um, you just keep it, like, nodding towards the bedroom. I'm sorry, so do you wanna... I wanna... Uh, Captain Jetlag, I, I wouldn't say it only works if you're hot. I mean, if if he has a wife, it, it, she must must love him for what he is, right? See the beauty within and all that. <clears> oh, <throat> <laughs> bad suggestions of Blonik. Yeah, exactly. Just, just be naked. Just stand there vacuuming the living room floor naked. The like, like, you know, just like it's a normal day. Hi, what's up? And you have a bow tie tied around your package. <laughs> Now they don't have that big fin. They have like little toe things, right? All right. That's a funny one, Svensson. A bow tie. Then it's no, it's it's called imagination. It's called uh, problem solving on the fly. I mean, I'm doing these warm ups with a random topic, so you have to be able to think on your feet. <laughs> Let's make sure that these uh, mines comes across as mines. Hmm. That doesn't make the situation any better. I don't know how to make a good looking mine. I'm trying to remember when the last time I've drawn a mine. And uh, I think it's the first time in a very, very, very long time I had to draw a mine. You can probably hear my daughter, she's home today. She's playing mine. Uh, iPad. 
next to the office. And wife is home as well. You should um, have anyone of you seen um, Anchorman movie? There's a phrase in there that is so funny. It's so stupid, but uh, it came it came to my mind when you said works two out of three times. And and he's talking about some uh, horrible perfume, and and he I'm going to paraphrase it, but he says like scientists say it works sixty percent of the time all the time. <laughs> Such a great stupid comment. Doesn't make any sense of saying it works 60% of the time, all the time. some horrible uh, perfume he used uh, in that movie like in the news studio and people started vomiting and screaming that it smells like a burnt hair and baby poop or, or, or something and they did not like his uh, perfume sex panther <laughs> was the, the name of the perfume such a stupid funny comment or a line in a movie. Do seals have ears? I want I want to draw ears on it, but I doubt it's it shouldn't have ears. Right? Yeah, I'd see called Six Panther. <laughs> Jazz flute. Uh, it's a st stupid movie, but a fun movie. Um, I've seen it too many times. As you can hear, I can. I remember almost everything from that movie, line by line. Almost. And uh, how he. He, he's, he's on a date with this uh, co-host and uh, they're in a car on, on a date and, and he's talking about like casual talking and it's like San Diego. It's like uh, scholars maintain that the translation has been lost forever but that it means a, a whale's vagina. <laughs> and, and this woman was like, no, no, I'm sure it's... Uh, uh, what's it called? St. Diego or something? It's like, no. It's like a whale's vagina. <laughs> it's just such a stupid movie. I love stupid movies. They don't have cat ears and tentacles, Vincent. Georg, yeah, exactly. They have small, small um, holes. Exactly. Exactly. Whoa, what's happening? Full blast, not what I wanted. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes, we'll see. The pants store. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, I could quote loads of things from that movie. It's a really stupid movie. Stupid but fun. But I've, I've like I said, I've seen it way too many times, and it's lost its um, charm. I think uh, thinking about the jokes are funnier now than actually watching it. Watching them in the movie. Oh, Georg, that is bad. Hitler won't see it coming. That is so bad. Shame on you. <laughs> How dare you! Svensson art. I, I've seen it actually. It's it's good. It's also a good movie. I like it when he's cursing. It's like goes really really dark. <laughs> uh, that's a movie I need to um, dig out. I have it somewhere in my collection. Um, Captain Jetlag, yeah. There's a there's a tendency that he plays the same, the same a lot. I mean, why change something that isn't broken? But uh, I'm starting to get bored of it as well. But I think one of the really great scenes, which is not the whole movie, but uh, it's old school. Uh, and when he's this is like a movie about a frat fraternity, and he's a old guy. Um, um, and he gets uh, shot by a tranquilizing gun, and uh, everything like starts to go in slow motion, and he falls in a pool, and uh, it's a really funny scene. I remember seeing it the first time and just kind of laughing to the point where I'm almost like on the floor. Um, but it lost its uh, what's it called novelty after a while. But when when the first time I saw it, it was hilarious. It was a really funny scene. Um, the movie itself, ah, it's an okay movie. It's like a stupid movie you can watch on a Sunday. But that scene in, in particular was was really good fun. My daughter is is demanding more uh, cereals, the breakfast cereals. You, I can hear her saying, "More cereals, more cereals, more cereals." And the seal does not have a microphone. No. Seal the deal. That's also a bad pun. Um, which movie is wrestling a bear in?
they have some sort of a lump eyebrow as well. And wet nose, right? Like a dog. Ding! Hmm. I don't remember what the seal looks like. <laughs> it's bad. I think I've seen um, semi-pro. It's the basketball game, right? Basketball uh, one. So three minutes left. Let's start adding some. Uh, Then we do this. Oh, some fishes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. 
this. All right, that's it. A Navy SEAL SEAL. <laughs> Time traveling, mine laying, Nazi hunter, Navy SEAL SEAL. <coughs> All right. Uh, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, have a great weekend. I won't be streaming anything this weekend. I think I have way too much to do. Um, so have, a, have fun. Good night, good day. Catch you on Monday morning. All the this week's episodes uh, are should go up in the VOD uh, archive on YouTube uh, to, today, hopefully. Um, and that's it. Bye, everyone. You guys are too funny, guys and girls. You are cracking me up. <laughs> All right, bye.